Welcome to Iceland, our final leg of our year-long trip around the globe that has taken us to 40 different countries in 11 months and changed who we are and how we see the world. We thought that there is no better way for us to end this journey than in the land of fire and ice on an eight-day road trip around the entire island on the Ring Road. Join us as we camp, hike, and soak in many hot springs, documenting each day with its own vlog that we are very excited to share with you. We have already dropped off our car from our Ireland road trip and we are sitting in the lounge at the Dublin airport just waiting to head over to Reykjavik. So from here in Ireland, we have a really short flight over to Iceland where we're gonna pick up a camper van, which we are so excited about so that we can do a road trip around the entire island. But this is our very last time hanging out in an airport lounge, sipping our free coffee and filling up as much as we can before we hop on the flight. Priority Pass has been so amazing for us with all the different lounges we've been to all over the world. We've definitely been very spoiled. We have a link down below for a Priority Pass if you're looking to do it because it made all the difference for us this year for travel. We're just gonna go grab some more food before we head out. We're feeling all the fields today as we're only a week and a half from being done with this journey. But we do have so much planned. Just yesterday we were sitting in a coffee shop going over all the plans for Iceland. And I was like, we're just not gonna be able to sleep at all. Like from sun up until sundown, we're gonna have to go hard to see everything and just get everything done that we wanna do. So cheers to our final lounge. And cheers to Iceland. Tell you all about the next weather information over there, and uh, so on. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the flight with us, and so much support. Kindly appreciate that you are enjoying the flight. Thank you very much, and looking forward to see you again on another trip. On behalf of Ben and the crew, thank you very much for taking very pleasant company. We hope you enjoyed the flight and the service on board. And we wish you a pleasant day, your nice little or nice on your journey. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye bye. last 11 months we've taken 34 different flights and not a single time has our luggage gotten lost. I'm okay saying that now even though we have one more flight because honestly if they get lost on the way home it's fine. Most of our clothes need to be replaced anyway after like completely wearing them out over the last 11 months. We officially made it to Iceland and we are in our 40th country. It is so surreal, and it is a sunny, gorgeous day. We're just walking now to take a shuttle to go pick up our camper van, which we're going to be taking all the way around the island.
kinds of good things in here. We're gonna have to check everything out. We have like a whole kitchen box. We have a lot of stuff, but first we're gonna go grab some groceries. And then we're gonna try and get to camp before it gets too late. That way we can like actually check everything out tonight and figure out how to actually set everything up. We're in our Jeep for the next week. This is our home. How crazy is that? Are you excited for that? Are you scared? I'm excited and I'm scared. I've never really camped much in my life, to be honest. So we're pushing ourselves outside of our comfort zone to start the trip. The tent looks really easy to set up though. Like it'll take less than five minutes. So hopefully that goes well. First stop is the grocery store because it's very, very expensive here. So we're loading up on groceries so that we don't have to eat out as much as possible. I'll do pepperoni because they're quite a bit cheaper and I don't know if I like them. Currently trying to translate things again. Haven't had to do this in like the last month, so was not prepared. Self checkout. Wine, probably. So we just finished our grocery shopping and what was the total? Da, 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 da. A lot, just kidding. It was only like $120 for groceries. Hopefully it lasts us a good chunk of this road trip. We kind of like figured it out. We could only go out to eat two or three times for that amount. So the groceries should definitely help us save a lot of money. They have discount stores, which we realized later. They are the stores I believe called bonus that have a pink pig on them. So the pink pig means a discount. Look for the pink pig if you want that absolute cheapest price here in Iceland. But now that we have some food, we're gonna hit the road and drive to our first location for camping tonight and get our whole campsite set up and we'll do a little tour of everything that we have. Okay, so two hours later, we finally got a parking spot at the campsite. There's actually lots of options, I don't know. Camping's just so far outside of my comfort zone that it could be like, no, not that spot. It's too close to people and just like felt uncomfortable. I it don't know why. a very wide open field kind of like there's not too many trees. So like you're very close to everyone. So you don't have too much privacy, but I think we found a nice like little corner where we do have like a few bushes beside us. So a little bit more private than like the rest of the area. It is already, what time is it? 8.30. And since it is the middle of August, it's starting to get dark. So we're gonna quickly set up our camp and show you what is in the back. And honestly, it's kind of a surprise to us yes, too we... because we just got a camping bundle and we weren't even sure what that meant online. So we're tired, but let's go set up camp. Day one of Iceland. Here we go. Also, fun fact, there was no one here at the office, but there was a sign that said you could find a spot and pay later. Second fun fact, in Iceland, their currency is called Krona. We were worried we might need some Krona, but I read online that all campsites you can pay by credit card. So hopefully that's true because we did not find an ATM to get some Krona at, so we still need to get some Krona. There's obviously a couple at the airport, but I never like using the airport ATMs because they always charge you way more than what they should. So I usually wait till we get outside of the airport. However, I couldn't find one after we left the airport. So whoops. Disclaimer, we are probably going to butcher Icelandic pronunciations. No matter how hard we try, it's a very, very difficult old Germanic type of language that I just think it's incredible that they've kept it alive with under 400,000 people in all of Iceland. They've kept this language alive, which is super cool. So yeah, we are seeing Icelandic language everywhere. Also English as well too, but like we said before, we're gonna butcher it. We just know, we'll try. 
and sometimes we won't try, but yeah. Anyway, let's go set up camp. All right, so first things first, we're gonna pop the tent. There's no way to like actually see if it's level or level it out afterwards. When we were sitting in the car, I was kind of like, eh, it seems levelish, so hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, do you want me to help you pop it? No. Nice. All right, and the camp is made. <laughs> so nice. Let's see what goodies we have. We have our cooler. Groceries falling out. So we have a cooler with like, I think it's supposed to be like some fan cooling system if you plug it in, but we don't have anywhere to plug it in. So we just got a big device. This is a cooking stove. All right, now this is the main event that we have no idea what's in here yet. This is our like kitchen set. Two mugs, great for coffee. Yeah. Two bowls. Yeah. It's like some propane for the cook stove. Your classic set of like pots and pans. Oh, there's even a little like tea kettle thing. Yeah. For our hot water. A little jet oh, boil. Like a little jet boil. Them. Some cutlery. Some other cooking utensils. And then just, oh, some plates and then some more pans, so. Everything we need? Basic little kitchen set. And then we have a table, some chairs. And this is... That is the plug-in stuff for the cooler. Plug-in for the cooler. Water. Uh, Which we should definitely fill that up tonight for the rest of the time. Little chairs. Cute. Sitting one. So little. I can just sit here and enjoy the light sprinkle. <laughs> da, 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 da. One of these ways locks it, one of them unlocks it. I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. Nice. How does it look up there? Oh, it looks cold. <laughs> There's a nice little mattress up there. Pretty basic tent though. There's a mattress though, that's nice. We have two pillows, sleeping bag. So I thought in the like terms and conditions or the, in the agreement, I saw that there was like a Wi-Fi router or like a you know, like satellite Wi-Fi box. Not seeing that yet. So we'll have to keep checking through this or I'll have to check the terms and conditions again. Cause that would have been kind of nice because I'm sure we're gonna lose signal at some point and then just have to navigate the roads with nothing, which I guess there's probably only like two roads to choose from, but still I'm very bad with directions. So our first camp here in Iceland is all set up. I'm just snacking on some popcorn that we bought at the store while Jordan's looking for the bathroom. We're just gonna get tucked in now because we have a lot planned for tomorrow. We're planning on going to a Viking hot spring as well as checking out some beaches and just driving along the south coast of Iceland. There's so many beautiful stops. Tomorrow's gonna be a packed day. We plan on getting up at 5 a.m. so that we can get ready to hit the road. So this concludes our first full vlog in Iceland. Us just getting here and getting set up and getting camping outside of our comfort zones, but we're pushing ourselves for our last country. But we have so much planned. We're going to spend so like much. two days here in southwest Iceland. Then we're going to spend like a day in northwest, a day or two up in the northeast and then a day or two down in the southeast. So we're really gonna be just checking it all out. So make sure to stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one as we explore more of Iceland.